Hey GearHeads, I'm Alan Bailey and today we are reacting to the F-123 official reveal trailer and talking about the new details, not only from this trailer, but from a press release that came out with the game that's going to be launching in June of 2023. So without further ado, let's react to this brand new trailer. Who will be last to break? Ooh. Well, the it looks great so far. Ah, oh, Vegas. Can't wait. Can't wait. Before the race begins, anything is possible. It's like the world holds its breath. Ah, uh, new Why team. New player. Everyone thought Aiden was going to be signed by one of the big three. Something has gone very wrong here. Uh -oh. Every season, you want to step up. There's always something to improve. I want to be the best I can be, and I want to win. Bet you do, Max. Easy points like this. Ooh, ooh. Come on, you can do this. Oh, the rain looks cool. Survives in F1. You know that. Wheel to wheel, this is fabulous. The question is, who will be the last to break? Ah. F-123 coming out on console and PC, June 16th, 2023. Let's actually break this down and talk about this trailer. All right, so there is a lot to break down. I actually do have a press release from EA Sports with a little bit more detail that we're gonna talk about, but I wanna kinda go frame by frame at first here. So you can see this brand new team that's part of the My Team career, uh, clearly struggling. You can see this awesome Hotel Nevada <laughs> in Vegas uh, shot. So I was wondering how they were gonna do that, but it looks like they kinda found a way around it. The cinematics actually do look a little bit better to me. I'm getting kind of, um, you know, I, the Codemasters did this other game called Grid, and I'm getting kind of Grid vibes off of this, which did have mocap and live action kind of mixed in there. So I'm getting kind of that vibe. Um, but I mean, the, the, the colors are giving me Laker vibes, and this is interesting to me. We're going to have a new female driver, it looks like right there i mean she's an f2 champ it looks like so she maybe might be putting pressure on either um devin or aiden for that seat with the team maybe she's going to be the third driver we don't have confirmation on that yet um this looks like it was actually shot this does not look like gameplay footage to me uh or if it is amazing i didn't think we were going to see this quite a jump in quality um but clearly this new team is struggling you can see right there um this is interesting i hope they kind of play this into the my team a little bit but clearly this is from the breaking point story mode that's returning um with the tire issue with this new team fledgling team so um i don't know Th this should be pretty good and obviously the close racing is always going to be a factor um you know that looks that looks great but i mean clearly frustrations and internal turmoil and when you have aiden jackson and devin butler kind of getting into it it's going to make things interesting i i really do think that yeah, putting them as teammates is going to make it really fascinating to me um and of course max who's two-time world champ but also he is the ea poster boy now um so he's obviously literally going to be on the posters and on the uh champions edition um but the gameplay looks a lot more colorful than it did last year um Everything looks like it's dialed up a little bit and that the color gray kind of matches what we see in Drive to Survive, but also what we see on the broadcasts a little bit better. Um, I think that that is a step in the right direction. You got to capitalize on that Drive to Survive market. And there she is again, already in uniform in the trailer. So that tells me that there will be a point where maybe one of the two drivers in that story mode get hurt or step out of the car and she's put in as the reserve driver or maybe she is one of the head drivers i don't know one of the one of the two drivers um we'll have to wait and see um and ea marketing trying to push this who's the last to break 
line on everything. And I don't know if I necessarily like the line. I think it's a little cheesy, but you know, F123 coming out on uh, on console here um, on June 16th, which is the soonest we've actually seen this game release. Their goal is to come out closer to the actual start of the season. This kind of takes a step in that direction. So per the press release, we found out today Electronic Arts announced that EA Sports F123, the official video game of the FIA Formula One World Championship, will be released on June 16 across PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, S, and PC. Headlined with the return of the epic story mode Breaking Point, F123 is home to every team, driver, and circuit for the 2023 season, including the highly anticipated Las Vegas Grand Prix and Qatar. Building upon the new partnership with Max Verstappen, who now boasts the EA branded uh, on the chin of his helmet, and back-to-back -back world championships is confirmed as the cover star for the digital exclusive F1 23 Champions Edition. Breaking Point returns for a bold new chapter following the careers of young upstart Aiden Jackson and protagonist Devin Butler, now teammates for Connor Sport Racing Team, a fledgling organization hoping to succeed against the current Wheel World F1 teams and drivers, adding a host of new characters, fresh rivalries, and racing challenges, both aim to take their careers to the next level, but there will be twists and turns and pitfalls along the way. F123's handling has been upgraded from last season, following a more predictable behavior and new vehicle physics, giving the cars better traction when braking, accelerating, and cornering. By incorporating actual F1 team feedback, a greater balance between aerodynamic and tire grip results in more realistic feel. Engine torque and inertia improvements also mean throttle control is more authentic and offers a greater level of connection to the car, along with these improvements precision drive controller technology will give pad players better control and confidence in those crucial race moments. That is awesome because not everybody has this. Not everybody has a steering wheel as I bump into my thing here and mess it up. Uh, not everybody has this. This is something that I only got not even a year ago after saving and, and researching this thoroughly. And I have the channel. I have kind of justification to do this. Not everybody has a rig with a chair most people are doing it on a gamepad and honestly that is awesome i think gamepad technology has actually come pretty darn far and we see new gamepads uh that offer the actual steering wheel built into the pad and you know customization into the pads so i think that ea and f1 is doing great by them because this game needs to be accessible to everyone this is the problem that nascar is struggling with they don't have an outlet for the game me personally, when I was growing up, I was a NASCAR guy um, and got into other forms of racing down the road, but I got into NASCAR and really learned NASCAR and became a fan of NASCAR by playing the games. And EA and, and Codemasters has done a wonderful job with the FIA and Formula One to create a really good long lasting game series that has had its ups and downs, but for the most part has actually performed and delivered consistently good games, if not great games. And yeah, last year was kind of a step back, but I do think that this is taking a step in the right direction, potentially. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Yes, I'm pre-ordering. Yes, uh, it's going to come to the channel. My question to you is this, what do you want to see on the channel? Obviously, we're going to do a my team, but do you want to see the Breaking Point story first? Let me know in the comments down below. Breaking Point or Career Mode? Um, that's the biggest question, uh, my team career mode. Um, and I do think we're going to do a my team. I don't necessarily want to do a career where I sign up with a team. I want to have a little bit uh, more control of our destiny. And it's a little bit more fun to kind of build your own team from the ground up. Uh, so let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of what you would like to see as far as content wise here on the channel, but also uh, what you guys think of this trailer. I think it definitely delivered. Um, EA admittingly dropped the ball over the weekend. They said, oh, there's an announcement coming Monday. And then we got cover art that was, frankly, horrible cover art. I, I did not like the cover art. I didn't like it last year. I didn't like the fact that they copied and pasted onto this year. Um, how you can have a racing motorsport game and not have a photo of a car on the cover in any capacity is beyond me. 
and I know F1 wants to promote its drivers, but how hard is it to put the driver in the foreground, in the in the main shot, and then low put a car in front of him? How hard is it to do that? I mean, I, I think it's not too hard, but for some reason the EA marketing team really wanted to sell his face. And honestly, if you spent as much money as you did on that face, then yeah, I, I would say go ahead and spend some money on that. But his car is also part of it, so put put his car down there. That's just my two cents. But then again, maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the brand new F1 23 trailer the reveal trailer and the announcement trailer are you picking up the game and if so when and where as far as what system let me know in the comments down below let me know what you guys think of this game and as always make sure that you mash that subscribe button so that you come on back for some more great content here on the channel for the f123 reveal trailer i'm alan bailey we'll see you at the track bye gearheads